Is an electrical engineering degree worth it? And it's very important that I make this video because I'm someone who has done a bachelor's, master's, and a PhD in electrical engineering. Right now, currently, I'm working as a postdoctoral fellow at the NASA Jet Propulsion Lab with my electrical engineering degree. And prior to getting my job, I had done seven electrical engineering internships in various industries. So I really wanted to make this video because I'm someone who knows the ins and outs of electrical engineering from academia to industry to research. From everything I've gathered, I'm here to help you answer the question, is it actually worth it? Is it worth pursuing? Is it worth sticking to? Now we could spend all day talking about salaries and job prospects and things like that, but what I really wanna talk about is not so much statistics, but more of like personal experience. Like what did I actually experience before the degree, during the degree, after the degree? And yes, an electrical engineering job will get you a very good salary, most likely. There's a lot of demand and less supply compared to something like, let's say, mechanical engineering or computer science. So again, you have a higher chance of getting a job. But I'm going to tell you my before, during, and after, and then I'm going to let you be the judge. So before I started my electrical engineering degree, I was basically a senior in high school, and I was not really that smart, or I guess, quote, smart by school standards. In other words, I knew I could learn things and I could figure things out, but I was not really on top of my classes. I graduated high school ranked 118 out of 517. So I was barely in the top 25%. And obviously, this meant that when I joined my electrical engineering program, or I guess engineering program in general, my first and second year, I was destroyed. Uh, it was really hard. The classes were very hard. Uh, There's a lot of work needed, a lot of assignments. So the first thing that engineering in general taught me to do is to work really hard and to realize that, oh shit, okay, this is not like high school where you can just kind of cruise by, not do the homework assignments, and still get a 90. Like, no, in engineering, especially in first year, you could work very hard, do all the assignments, and you'll still get, like, a 67 on a physics exam. And that will probably be, like, above the above average. So the curve will probably lift you up a little bit. And I remember at the time, me and other students would always complain about, oh, my God, why is there so many assignments? Why is there such a massive workload? Why is there so many problems to solve? There's so much to do. But what we did not realize at the time is that was really, like, the real value and the hardcore training that we were receiving. Like, in engineering, especially in electrical engineering, out of any other major, you basically are forced to sit down and figure out things that are very hard. Your brain is kind of squeezed and you're really forced to figure out what is going on. And then there was the other more challenging part, which is trying to get an internship, which was like nearly impossible. Basically, I spent like two years applying and trying to find opportunities before I was able to get my first internship. So on top of all the very difficult classes that you had to take, well, you had to find an internship and, and find opportunities. And even that, that was really hard. Now combine these two hard things together and you're in for like a very, very stressful time. And I would ask myself in my head, I'm like, is this worth it? Is this even worth it? Why am I doing this? And I'll be honest with you, the reason to keep going was that there was just no other better alternatives. You just gotta, I don't know, keep going. I had already taken out student loans, so I was already in debt. So there was like really no going back. If I were to drop out and do something else, A, I didn't have a plan. B, I had all this debt that I don't know how to pay. So I decided to push through it. And then towards my junior year, where I started specializing more and learning more about certain classes, and I had my very first internship, things started to shift a little bit. Because after joining some research labs and getting real world experience and some internships, I was actually able to understand why we were learning whatever we were learning. And then I came a lot closer to graduation and realized from the internships I had done in industry, like I did not want to work in industry. I did not want to go work in a private company. And that's simply because I just did not really want to go work in a meaningless job, like in a big corporation, do something I don't care about. I want to do something I really care about. So that part of electrical engineering alone was worth it and that it gave me options. It gave me like the ability to choose things. I could go get a job or I could go join a startup or I could go be in grad school if I wanted to. Ultimately, I decided to join research and I did my master's and then my PhD. So is electrical engineering worth it? I mean, one, it gave me a job at NASA, it gave me a PhD, it gave me a lot of cool things, a lot of cool experiences. But I would say that's not even the real reason why it's worth it. I would say the en electrical engineering degree is absolutely worth it because prior to the degree, I was someone who was kind of not very good at solving problems and kind of not very systematic a bit like disorganized and lacking strong self-confidence. After finishing my electrical engineering degree and knowing I can do something that's very hard and I had options and I could pursue things that I wanted to pursue, but more importantly, having acquired the skills of learning how to solve any problem and learn anything really, really fast, I gained a lot of self-confidence. I gained a lot of confidence in myself. And as much as I love my current uh, position at NASA and I'm very grateful for it, I love the research that I'm doing, I love the mission that I'm working on, I love that I get to do hardware, I get to do software, I get to learn a lot of things and work on a lot of things. I know deep down that if I were to, uh, like, I don't know, go work on something else or get fired or do something like that, it's not the end of the world because I have the skills to go learn and solve any problem. And this right here is worth it. Like what I wish to convey to you is the thing that's really, really worth it is not something like a salary or a job or something like that. What is really irreplaceable and extremely valuable is like the confidence and the, the like self-belief deep down 
that I can learn any problem and, and I can solve any problem and I can learn anything very, very fast and I can be put in a new situation and learn it very, very fast and I can isolate the variables and figure out what's going on and that I have a skill set that is extremely useful. I mean, I have a, basically master's, bachelor, PhD in technology. Electrical engineering degree is really an degree in technology. So if you understand how hardware works and you understand how software works and you're able to build things and you're able to communicate your ideas, man, you are like in the top 0.1% of useful people to the world, in my opinion, because that simply means you can learn anything very fast. You can solve any problem and you can interface with technology. And as we see in current trends in AI and things like that, the people who understand these things are literally shaping the world, are shaping the future. Previously, the engineers who worked at Apple and Facebook and Instagram designed algorithms and built things that literally shape day-to-day -day human behavior. And now the engineers at OpenAI and other companies are basically doing the same. They're shaping the history of humans. So again, isn't electrical engineering worth it? Absolutely, hell yes. And I cannot explain it in words. I cannot explain it in situations. I can only explain it in a feeling. And I wish that I can give you that feeling which is why I make these videos so you can get the most out of the degree and learn how to have that feeling of confidence of being able to solve any problem, learn anything in any situation, and just kind of go out there and tackle the world. Because life is pretty hard. And, and the older you get, the more you realize, shit, man, life, life is tough. And no one's out there to save you. You're out there for yourself. You have, to, you have to figure things out. You have to learn things. You have to solve problems. Now, if you want to figure out what the degree actually entails and what it is made of, I made a video explaining class by class what to expect. It is a bit more technical, so you should go ahead and watch that. Peace, love.